What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Well, you guys, today is the day we are finally going to be getting in the work for this well house. Um, we've got our friends here with us. We are all ready and super amped. I'm ready to play in the mud. You ready to play with some blocks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're I'm, a little hesitant I'm looking, there, babe. No, I know. It's... Hey, man, that's the B word. We don't, we don't <laughs> say that around here, you know? Oh, but, we're going to be saying lots of B words all around here. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to happen, and I'm really looking forward to it because we're going to have some great help oh, yeah. and some great company while we do it. Oh, that's yeah. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to this. So let's get it, guys. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Marcel? What's oh, going on, Miss Denise? You guys, this is all, it's all Grady. They are good friends of ours, also in Arkansas, and uh, they are currently building out a basement as well. So this is like perfect timing for you guys to come out here, get some hands on, and um, I guess take some knowledge from a squirrel and a hyena and uh, <laughs> take it back to your part of the forest and put it into work. Yes, we are looking forward to learning everything that you guys have experienced throughout your build. Yeah. And this is our very next phase. I got a question for you guys. Have either one of you ever laid a block before? No. Nope. No? Pavers underneath the shipping container, but mm -hmm. we didn't use, there was no like, you didn't need experience. <laughs> <laughs> How was your first time laying block? It was a nightmare there for a bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But after I got used to what, uh, what it, needed to be and uh, everything else it was it was pretty nice so gary the real question is how confident are you that you can make his first time block experience much better than yours i have a feeling he's gonna have a lot more of a jump start than i definitely did and you're gonna have some hand-on experience and see uh see what it is so we have to set up the leads we have to get everything ready to go gary you gotta teach this man how to uh set up his lines yes and um Denise, I'm going to be taking you and you're going to be mud monkeying with me. All right. All right. So first, boys, before we could do any kind of block work, Gary, why don't you uh, start talking with him and show him how it's done. Just uh, get that guy marked right there where the blocks meet and just make sure that those marks are exactly square and they should be exactly the same number each way around. Same every which way you try to look at it, it should be square. Setting the leads. Ideally, you want a thicker one, so that way it don't bow. But if you do go with this, just I'll show you the tricks. You mean a uh, bigger square tubing? Yeah, so that way it don't bow on you or anything. So I'm gonna have you hold that guy real quick. Get yourself some galvanized nails. So right up on that edge of that conk or the pole. So now, with those like that, it's going to make it to where the pole can't really kick out that way or kick out this way Right. while you're in the middle of doing it. Now I'm not going to go too crazy on this. I'm like clamping it down down. But because we're going about four foot and I want us not to be really fighting with it. Put it about right there. If we have to move it, we can move it. Is it on this side or the other side? There. Uh, it could be on this side right here. So now, let go, let go of that guy. It should stay. And then. <laughs> we'll come back and visit this guy here in just a bit and check for plumbness. But then you just kick this guy down, grab that block, set it up on here as a weight just to make sure it doesn't try to kick out or anything like that. And then you wrap it with the string once you get that first measurement and you can tell if you're off by like that quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch from like actual cement level wise and then you can play with that start at the uh, high end work your way over to the low end and then that's pretty much it okay. once you start getting up into about the middle it wants to bow huh mm -hmm. but since we're like this 
I don't think it's going to bow on this. And it really shouldn't matter if nah. it bowed, right? Because you're still running your laser to get your measurement. So even if it is a little... Wherever you start and you know that you're plumb, that's why I like checking the plumbness while I go. So that right. way you're like, okay, I don't want to be up on that string. And you'll see when you're on the ridge or not. Right. Like, I'll show you all that. It's, it's pretty simple. Especially the corners. The corners are a little tricky. But they're not at, they're not at the same time. I've learned that I've overthought a lot of it more than I needed. Well, hopefully I don't have to now. No. I don't know if I, I probably still will overthink it. Oh, it happens, man. Like, I'll be like, oh no, call Gary. <laughs> Gary did all of the uh, overthinking for you last year. I'm hoping that's the case. There's a lot of ways to do it. But this tends to be the easiest way. Can you grab me another now? And you learn that from a pro. Yes. He uh, he said that a lot of people, there's, I mean, there's multiple ways. Some people build the corners and then go off of those or do this. Where this just gives you a course by course and you can just do it all in eight inch increments and know you're going to be good and level by the end of it because you use a uh, this is, laser level. This is essentially the building of the the corners i think isn't it yes so instead of having to build the corner to get those lines every time you already got your corner. you got your lines already yeah. there so you don't that means you can take off right away yeah correct meaning there's no hold back right. now no it's the same thing on one of the channels that we watched to try to figure out if we were going to be able to do blocks and they made this look a whole lot harder than what this seems to be so oh it's easy peasy man if me and gary can do it oh, anybody could do it that's not i say the same thing but then i find out that's just not true because i watch people do stuff and then i mess it up <laughs> <laughs> if at first you don't succeed try and try again well, that's what we're saying is, is like we've messed up. Yeah, so, we have. We show the messes up. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> These big old clamps, man. They work. I don't like using these big ones, but. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have to buy small ones. No. Use what you got. Use what you got. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. That didn't, that's all I was, right. I was just sliding underneath it, I think. That's what I was doing with the other one, too. I was all silver. That happens. Work out all the kinks on our on the well house. It's just a well house, man. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Don't worry about nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Man, Gary, you are a good teacher. <laughs> All right. uh, this way. Yeah. Or inward. I guess it don't matter on the top, but well, yeah, do inward so that way you don't crack your skull. But then again, you might stand up and crack your skull on that too. I don't know which way would be better. Hopefully we use long enough boards, we don't have to Yeah, I ain't got to worry about stuff like that, man. I can walk under that ladder. <laughs> so we need to come in. In. Uh, let's go. Uh, go to, or kick it down. Uh, put, or bring it in just a tad and kick it down again. That way it comes to you just a bit. Set a block right up. Yep, just like lean it up on it. Perfect. And this guy, we're gonna bring it in. And you might have to do it back and forth like this a couple of times. That's good. That guy is plump. Some of them are a little trickier than others. But once you get it, it's a little easier to get it to where you want it, you know? Now kick it in right there. Let's see. A little bit more. A little more. 
Okay. Laser level, bro. Yeah. That's gonna keep us on the level right there. Yeah. And it's an auto leveler, so you can just hang it with a nail, do whatever you want, and okay. press this right here, and and there you go. As you can see on Gary's shirt, see it? Shooting out a laser. Oh yeah. 360 and up and down. That's awesome. So should be good to go. Looks like there a good, go, bro. Heck yeah. good tool. I'm down for that. See, he's not just supervising, he's lending out the tools. We've no. only had his two foot level for like, you know, the last year and a half. I don't supervise, I stupid buy. There you go. <laughs> See it? And mark the side. side, yeah. Okay, and then same thing over on this one. Hey, you guys know that that, uh, it's all Grady shirt is Roxanne's favorite shirt. Is it? I'm dead serious. It's comfy, huh? Well, she loves the color, the, the style of it, everything. It's her favorite shirt. Sweet. Well, I'm happy that she, yeah. she loves it. Right, 42 and a half. 42 and a half. Alright, so now it's all measured out, marked out on the leads. I'm going to wrap the string out and we're going to get it all set on the actual mark on the lead where we need it. And that's going to be our guideline. And then as soon as it's all tight, we're going to triple check these. Make sure we're still plumb because. That is the key. <laughs> that always, is the key. Always double and triple check your measurements yes. and your plumbness. Yes. You know how to set leads now? I do. I feel confident and comfortable. Good. So now I'm going to go over the all important details, which oh, is mud, this. which mm -hmm. is mud making. All right. So first, you guys gotta, 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 gotta get your wheelbarrow wet because if it's not wet, then it's not going to stick right. So. Or it'll stick and then that won't be right is what I should have said. We just used ours. I always start out with a little bit in here. Just kinda... okay, get that rock out of there. That would be an enemy. That little that little piece of a pet that would be an enemy in that right there. Yeah, because it would hold you up and you wouldn't even know until it's too late. Yep. Get in your mud. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm cleaning off the wheelbarrow. People making sure they're on the back side of the wall and they hold up the block so you can't tamp it down. Okay, now that it's wet. Knife? That would be funny. Alright, so we're going to go over here. Alright, so um, I'm going to flatten it out like best you can. And try to find center which is about and I always go on about and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and just try to fold it up in itself and you're just not for the bag. Okay, it's fine. We're working with a half a bag at a time. So now that I got them split in half, the next thing that I'm gonna wanna do is uh, take my water. You can see on the side of it how many quarts and it's all the way to the top is a gallon. So for this, what I'm gonna start out with, I'm gonna start with one gallon. Super duper important. If you don't have the right mud, the whole thing is going to go bad. I'm going to take it. Hey, Betsy, you miss me? Yes. <laughs> Talk to me, honey. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so you got water in there. You got half a bag. a little bit different if it was drier um, then you would have more water but because this water this sand is already wet we're gonna be adding less water than what we would if it was fully dry okay so in the way and the, sand, always, the less the less the water and the drier the sand the way more water and right. it's odd and that's why I always start out with just one gallon of water because you can always add a little bit more and you're always pretty much gonna need at least a gallon so get yourself a good scoop 
like that. You want it piled on, but like about that. like just straight up dry. Right. right. Yeah. So now we're gonna take that's only one scoop. There's gonna be a lot more. And you're you're looking at that more than the ratios of what you're adding. Right. Because it could be different. Like the bag could be a little bit more moist than normal like Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Just kind of spray it right here while it's moving. See how wet it is now? And that's only one and a half gallon. You saw how dry it was. Right? Now I'm going to stop it for a second. Okay, now, this is the thing that sucks about it is that this is going to be your life. Get used yep. to doing this. Because it gets hard. The first, when, when you first, I'm doing it. It always seems like the first batch gets stuck to the sides more before it gets coated, you know? And then after I've been doing it a little while and it's all swapped up in here, then it doesn't stick as bad, but the first batch always just sticks really, really bad. Yep. So you want it to look like peanut butter. Like creamy peanut butter. And when you think about like how it is, where it's got that little bit of oil in it, but it's not like super watery, you know? And you don't want it to be like, crunchy peanut butter, you know, you don't want it all crusty. Yeah. Gotta be that fine texture. You can't see it, but I'm smiling. <laughs> so, this is the perfect consistency that you want it at. This is, this is it right here. See how it goes on the trowel and see how it sticks? See that? Yeah. But it falls. So you want it to be able to come on and stick and then it'll fall. So it's really airy and it has that really creamy texture. It's got that really creamy texture on it. Um, the ratio that we ended up using for this was a half a bag of the 92 pound Portland, uh, 10 shovels, average shovels of damp sand. And then we ended up using two and a half gallons of water but you have to put it in incrementally. You can't just dump it all in there because it'll just turn into one big rock. Um, I mean, you eventually will work it all through, but it just makes your job so much worse um, if you just do it a little bit. Um, work a little at a time. Yeah, and that's how it is. So now we got a whole bucket full, and that is some good mud. Look at that, that's Gary. That's great mud. All right, I want to watch you slap it down like the, like the masons do. All right. Grab a scoop and... <laughs> wow. All right, ready? Tip her sideways. Okay, and turn it on. Oh, yeah. Turn the machine on. That's right. Yeah, we have to turn the machine on. This is good stuff right here. That looks absolutely fantastic. Alright. Yeah. I'm telling yeah. you. I'm happy with that. Okay. Like riding a bike. I did. I yep, I went around. Almost. So you see that wobble it's got? And then it sticks? Oh, yeah. That sticky? That's what you want, guys. I'm telling you, the mud makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah, feel it. Feel it. Smell feel it. it. Get Play it. Get used it. to it. Seriously. To it. Yeah. That's what oh, you need. Like peanut butter. That is exactly what you need. Yep. The consistency is real consistent. <laughs> no, I'm serious. The yeah. Last time I felt it, like you could tell that the sand was there wasn't enough. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. it's got what it needs in there. Heck yeah. This is perfect. Rinse me off. This looks perfect, baby. I want. I whip my board. So what you got to start with too is always take your board and damp your board down. Otherwise, the mud is going to stick to your board and dry on your board. And then when you're scooping it up, you're going to get those dry crumbs. And then when you're trying to beat everything down, it's going to just 
be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. So wet the board down, put a few slops down there. Do you wet the concrete down too or? No. No, no need. Because mm -mm. you want it to stick to that. You just don't want it to stick to your board. Okay. Once it's on the concrete, it's there. That makes sense. Sweep okay. it off though. Like, yeah, yeah. you know. There's no real pretty way of laying down the first bit. It's a mess. It's a mess. There's, there's no real pretty way. So basically, just give yourself a tap. Like when you're getting there going, just tap it on there. And like we're going up to that line. And this is a little, a little high. So don't worry about if you go too much. If the mud is good, you shouldn't need to worry about webbing. Mm -hmm. So for the first block, I like to have it there. So that way it just gives me a little bit of oomph, something. Right. Kind of holds you all the way around. Exactly. Now with this, what we're going to do, all right, this guy's got a chip right there. So I'm going to say screw that. I'm going to use this platter side. <laughs> so this is the uh, the trickier part. Just trying to find that spot of where you're going to be. And I'm looking at this line right there for my outer edge. As well as down this plane over here at the bottom. If I'm too much that way, I can always tap it this way. So now with that one, there's that. Mainly want to focus on like this side, this way and that way, obviously, you know. But if you see that you have some sort of bold or gap, you can always go over and do it like this. So I am going to more so worry about this way at first, just to give myself a little something, right? So now I'm straight. Now I'm going to see where am I high, where am I low. And now it's the fun part of smacking down now if I want to hit dead center anytime you go to hit it anywhere you want to be dead dead center so you don't push so, one side more than the other mm -hmm. Sweet. so I'm going down and I'm trying to get myself to this line right so I'm just gonna keep going down this way that way now I'm at a point where I'm getting close right now I'm gonna try to make it to where I can see where am I this way? Am I too far? Am I now leaning too far that way? I am. So now I'm just gonna work on that that dead center this way and everything so that way it's evenly pushing it all down. Now is this going to kill me if I'm not there? No. Because you can make it up. All I want to do is focus on this line right here mainly i don't want to worry about this too much okay i am pretty much lined up there that mud oh my goodness baby good job so now that i've got that first one placed this is where it becomes a little bit more repetitive of the same over and over and over again because that one right there that's the nightmare trying to get that first one where you want it right and then afterwards, it's smoother. It's pretty smooth sewing from there. So I'm just going down the line of it, where I'm going to be. I'm going to make it to where it's two blocks. This is a handle, the fatter side. So that way you can hold it and put it in. When you get these lines, this is for rebar to tie it in and everything. That's if you need it. But. You don't really need to use it right away. You can set all your first courses, then go around and re or hammer drill in your rebar spots where you want them. And you'll be dead set where every single time around. Versus me and trying to guess it and be like, yeah, that's going to be perfect. And then have to cut a couple. So when you're laying it on the block, you'll do the point and go towards it and then just go down. And then you can come back and make sure clearly, or like try to smooth it out. But that's all the mud. And the I first course. Too much in between. Mm -hmm. And the first course is big. So I'm going to try to get the corner 100%, try to keep these. And I'm holding right here, as well as trying to keep this from falling down and that backside by holding right here. And that's where I bring it in, hold. And then on this side, just 
give yourself a couple of taps. And now you can let go of it and let it sort of sit there. Think about what it did. Keep on grabbing this level, come this way and see where you're at and just tap. Tap her down and worry about like this. And I always use my thumb to where like I can feel where the two levels are and just fill it out. Be like, all right, I'm close enough. Come over here, give me a little bit more and don't level it out fully. Just a little just to get it started so i am high on this side that's what it feels like smack it down worry more about this than this for right now i got it as close as i can here now with it being close you want to whack it down here and it's going to bring this side down it brought it down just a little but finish it off with a couple of love taps down now it's Wait. leveled that way i'm glad that i know that it, you, you showed me to do it from the inside because that's what i want my finished wall to be at the best finished wall is going to be inside because we're yeah. going to cover the outside yeah and if we don't so, have to cover the block inside i don't want to yeah no so on this right here i can now so now that i've done a bit and go like that right right recycle him then recycle put it back up there even though it's if this is dry, right? You add water. Add water or add it to the bucket. Oh, I'm going to watch you do this one and then I'm going to let you do that one while I cut out these pieces real quick. And we'll get those and then we'll move up to the next row. All right. Cool. This was day two of our progress over at the house. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> day two's progress. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. You Come ready? On. All right. Get him some good. There's only one way to figure this out do it. jump right in, jump right in. Like, and it's no problem it. man there's you won't mess up gary's here to help you as seen on tv yeah I, yep. as seen on youtube get this, it marcel this is what this is what i see this is what they all did they're like right <laughs> perfect <laughs> more than that that should be all right and the good thing is is you right now you can have a look and see where we're at right and see what that gap is how's it feel babe i tell you it feels a whole lot better than what i would have done if i had did it for my first time with no Nobody no in, no, in, no confidence so you, being here gives you a little bit of confidence watching watching gary uh, do it, yeah so, am i too fun. much here and i'm coming to the end yeah so try to get that guy right there and then try to think of like 16 inches and then try to put a, a span just to get you going for that first block because you're not working yeah i think that's it right around that ballpark yeah. that might be a little bit long there that might be perfect all right and then when you're setting this just try because we're doing this as like the outer line right okay right? and then Try to find that now. Try to find that aspect, which you can see it off the line right here. This is the way that we set it. It should be right up on that line. Babes is setting his very first block. Try to stay in that middle point. Here? Like that. For that, if you're doing so, if you're side to side, stay in the middle, yeah. Side to side, middle. Middle of the block. Middle of this, if you're going this way, if you need to go higher or lower. If I need to bring that in down. Stay I in the middle. Tap it, it in the middle. Here. So hit this side right here. So, Ooh, yeah. country mile. Yep. So now, yeah, because you were hitting just, right there. Just in the back now, huh? Yep. So now, right here, hit dead center because it's. You're high over on that side. Hit her down. Keep Get working it. Keep going. Oh, oh. We're always, in. always center. stay, <laughs> always stay in center. Yeah. And then so you now you need to go a little bit more on this side. A little bit more. And with where you are at that line, you should be good. 
because so you want to look at the line right and now you're seeing you see how you're a little little high but a little high on this side at the same time with it being a corner just look at that and see where you're at and you're all, you're really close on that aspect and this is all jacked up right there too you're so close to the point don't sweat it whatsoever because like as i said look at it it's a little high there but you're at the line you're at the line the line is the biggest thing look at the line more than look at this bubble and just try to get it as close as possible right. as you can because once you get up there you're going to be a lot easier and you're going to have a lot more play of with the mud so you're on to your next block Super great job on your first block, dude. That was uh, really fast. It took us an entire day to do that. Yeah, but you guys didn't have somebody here. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Okay, so now it's about an inch. Is that what you think you did? Probably. So it's this is right about, I'd say, a quarter of an inch. But like <laughs> so what on are you this, putting on, do you think, is? I put, I'd say, right around in that aspect and just don't, don't sweat too much of it because... It's going to spread, yeah, it will go in more one way or the other, it will push like out. Like that? Yep. Kind of like You can go a little less on that, but you are good. Man, that's, that that's looks good. Right that's perfect. You've been yep. watching Mason the Mason, Mason. again, baby? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's perfect right there. Set it, look at that corner and look at the line. And just focus down the center, try to hold these sure two, those and two. then just give it a two slaps on that back side while you're holding it. All right, now you're good right there. So now triple check with this guy, and a lot of times you'll be higher here, which is the case right there. So just hit dead center on that guy right there, and try to before you. Once you get into the top, you'll just want to make sure just look at it, see how the lines are. All right. And then so just give it a tap. Try not to hold down on it or anything. And I like having my thumb. It's it's tricky though. Give watch space out. To peel. Yeah. And just watch out with your smacking your thumb because I done did that. <laughs> that hurt like a son of a gun. And then so now with that, you can just try to bring that side down and just try to get it to where it's as close to that line as you can. as straight as possible with the line, which is the bigger thing. All right, we're gonna get Denise trying the uh, the troweling and mud in the joints. Okay, so I don't, oh. Okay. Shoot. Yeah, so I like to do it when it's wetter. <laughs> but there you go. How's that making you feel good? You said this way? This joint, like how yep, well, put it. Oh, you are right. I'll probably use my right like hand because I need more strength. Yeah, that's how I am to too. What, what, like there, that, right? Yeah, there you go. And then just, yep. And just definitely make sure to you know, tap her in because that's what's going great job. Yep. That's nice right there. Like you think that's good, or so there, it is it a little that, too it indented this, there that, still? Or no, that's that okay. Line. That's good. So you got to do this guy. That's exactly what they do. Like that? So yeah. You're gonna want to put a little bit more right here. There you go. There you go, dude. You just did two courses on this one. Almost. Almost. Or, you guys need to drink well, water from bottom. Uh, okay. Now, when you get extra like that, does it really matter? Like you, how it bleeds over on the side? No, because when you broom it, it'll come off with the broom. You're mostly just trying to get the the depthness of this, even from the bottom all the way to the top. Now how you have it right now, you could literally just get off those chunks and now take the broom. Mm -hmm. And it'll and then brush just, it all off? Yep. Okay. Let's try with that broom. And there is a, a pressure too you'll have to put on with the broom. There you go. There you go. Like sand and almost. Kind of. You'll be a mud girl in no time. Heck yeah. 
All right, we're gonna leave her doing that. What you got going on? So, we are uh, cutting blocks and everything, and gonna fill up these gaps right here, get it squared away for the first course to be fully done, and we can move on to the second. So it's gonna be all these cuts, and they're the fun parts where you just have to finagle mud down in the hole <laughs> and get it there, and then try to have some mud on here. But in my experience, it's it's a nightmare to have both sides mudded and trying to get it in there. So it's better to just get this guy in there and then have your mud person you know, come back and fill, and fill it. Void. You know what I did see when I watched some people doing this? They buttered the they buttered that one first when they installed it on that back side, and then only buttered one side and slid and it down. Slid in. it down in. Yeah. That might be that might be a might better be way to do it. I tried it in so many different ways, and I was just like, eh. it didn't and work it as good. Been, it might have been the mud yeah. when I, we were trying it, and I was just like, screw this. So I just found putting it in and having her come back and fill it in. Okay. It made it good in it. I don't even really mess around with the string. I just try to even it out from this side to this side, you know, and fill it in as best that way, and just try to get it as level as I can from this block from that block. And go on from there because the next block that's going to go over this is going to be a hole, so it will even it out. So that is that uh, mindset of trying to get it perfect. I don't know how many times I've lifted up a cut piece, being like, It's got to be perfect, it's got to be perfect. It'd be one with the mud. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a trick, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> what so I'm like. <laughs> Man, the masons make this look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they do. I'm telling you. That's a lot of learning for us. But by the time that you get to the very last block, you're going to be like, I got this. Now I got to get it on the other side yeah. and not lose it. Yeah. No. -uh. <laughs> yep. Come on, man. <laughs> I was doing so good. Welcome, welcome to the nightmare of that one small piece that you need to add to it. Scrapes it right off anyways. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, Gary, come talk to me, buddy. It seems yeah. like Marcel's made a lot of decisions based on some of the things that you guys have yeah. experienced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
you can see, it is dark. It's nighttime out here. We worked pretty much all day and we got in a, basically a row and a half. Yep. So it's looking really, really good. How do you guys like uh, working with Block? Oh man, it's a lot easier than I thought. Yeah? Yeah. It's a lot less intimidating now that you guys have actually shown us yeah. some of the steps and yeah, it's, it's exciting. I'm excited. And right. you are like a natural dude. You're a natural. Yes. Took to it so easy. Yes. It's the teaching. <laughs> <laughs> well guys it's dark out here we are going to be waking up in the morning early and coming out and hitting this thing first thing in the morning right now we're actually going to go over to country road cures and go hang out with anthony and roxanne they've been cooking some good grub all day and oh, we're about yes. to go enjoy it so you guys hungry oh, yeah. yeah all right oh, yeah. let's go eat Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We've got a super, super busy, busy day ahead of us. Uh, but before the boys can get started on any of the block work, we got to get to mixing some more mud. I'm going to have Denise do the mixing today and see if she learned a thing or two uh, with my explanation. I hope it was good enough. Yeah, I'll try to remember how we did it, but you might have to walk me through it again. Oh, I got you. I got you. It's a really windy day today, so I apologize. But we've got uh, Betsy right here. We just wet load up some more sand. So the Portland is still right there. We're gonna get to work. All right, perfect. Yep, wet the thing down. Now wet old Betsy. Whoa, it's kind of good. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of like go one sure it's nice and wet all the buttons probably have to take it off and just leave just like the tiniest little see how that's fine so you like that now yep about right there all right I know, just stab at it, yep. Stab at it. <clears throat> Heavy, right? There we go. Come on, Betsy. Oh yeah, that oh, looks yeah. really good, girl. Feels good, nice that... and thick. Here, let's, let's check, check it. Yeah, let's check it with the spade. Oh yeah. Abraham. Oh yeah, nice and sticky. How do the masons do it? <laughs> <laughs> How's that mud looking today, Marcel? Pretty good. Yeah, your wife did a good job. I got, Hopefully she likes it because she'll be doing a lot of it. Oh yeah, I got confidence that she'll be a, a great mud monkey for you when it's time for your build, man. Awesome. You are killing it with this uh, block work, dude. I so hope so. You were born to do it. A natural.
dura wire stage for the well house. Um, I'm going every 16 inches instead of by code, which is every two feet. If I went by code, I'd only have one course in here since I'm only going four feet. Um, because of that, I'm saying no, I'm only going to I'm gonna put in two courses of it, and that's every 16 inches. So when you're doing your build and everything, just remember after every three courses that you put down, dura wire. So you'll do three, dura wire, three, dura wire, three, dura wire, and that makes it for every two feet you have that horizontal tie-in to all your rebar that is vertical. And with the bracing and everything like that, it just makes the wall stout. It, it ties in everything and makes it solid together. And it's, it's by code for what you gotta do. So it's either you do this or rebar. And this is a lot cheaper, a lot easier, and in my opinion, it might even tie in a lot stronger, I think, than rebar does horizontal. That's my own opinion. But. Sweet. It's a, it's good, and that's how you tie in. Also, say if you do a block where it's not tied in like this, that's mm -hmm. how you can tie in that section. So, and we're gonna fill these things up with concrete right here for the door. For the door, okay. and that makes it a pillar where you want to have rebar going down, concrete definitely, and that will make the pillar tie. And then when you do the bond beam, you just tie that in with rebar, and everything is concreted in together and you'll have blood going between all that stuff. Sweet. That's that. up what we can get done for today and I am so happy with yeah. today's progress. I think that it looks amazing so far. Perfect plumb level straight good to go. How was your guys experience? What do you guys think? Oh man it was it was truly amazing. You guys are good teachers. Thank you man. It's actually all this guy. It's all this guy right here. Yeah, it was easy. Easier than I thought. I was pretty intimidated but I think that we'll be able to do this. Yeah. I know you guys are going to be able to do this. You can see where you can put yourself in question and try to question every block that you try to put in and everything else. And it's like, don't worry about it. Yep. Follow that one. Yep. Follow that string line. Follow everything else. Make sure on the outer edges that it's flush and when you're doing the corners, that's it. That's yep. all you got to worry about. I will try <laughs> not to worry yes. yeah, about try. every block. Yes. Take it try not to, try take not it to stress. Take it block by block and just know that you can always make it up with the mortar too. Right. You know, so if it's not perfect, you know, the next row, you are going to have another layer of mortar on there. So you can always add a little bit more, take a little bit off. Okay. Um, Gary was really always big on the finishing line. So the, the top block, the finishing, 
that's the one where you're stressing and you're ripping stuff off and putting it back and right yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the one where it's, it really really matters yeah. so right. okay. and it uh that's where you want to make it everything all the kiltering every which way straight because that's the last one yeah right. and you don't want any mess up when or any fighting when you're doing the framing because right Fighting concrete with framing is a nightmare. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and uh, being a part of this well house build. It was so much fun, like working with you guys, lots of laughs on the job site. Um, and it gave us an opportunity to share some knowledge that we learned with you guys, which makes us feel really good. And I can't wait to watch your guys' videos when you guys are out there getting it and giving yeah. us deja vu. So. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. I'm so Thank excited you. for you guys. Thank you. We are so happy that you guys invited us down to learn. I, it's It's been a big thing for us. And just having the hands-on experience yeah. is yeah. amazing. Especially so close to our, I mean, when we, like, everything else we've learned, it seemed like I learned it maybe a month out or so. Yeah. And by the time I get to it, um, oh. yeah, I got to get refreshed Fresh. again. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be right away we can start yeah, yeah you guys are going to be on top of this so guys yeah. if you guys have not checked out it's all grady i'm going to put an icon card right there make sure to go check them out subscribe and let them know that you've seen them on simple life reclaimed we would really appreciate that oh. they are right about to start their whole basement build they're going to be building a cabin they've got a great story and wonderful channel so please go over and check them out. If you guys enjoyed our block laying series and thought that that was any fun, you're gonna have even more fun over at their channel. So again, it's all Grady, link up there, also down there, head on over, click the button and say subscribe and all that good stuff, guys. So we're gonna call it a day for today because we don't have any more mortar to mix at this point. We do got Portland and we got sand, we have everything we need, but we're running on a, a time schedule to clean up and Get the get going. Oh, wait. wait. All right. The next adventure. The next adventure. So come on, let me show you how.